guys, it's your girl Nicole Dot Young. Welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, welcome. I'm so excited that you're here. I have some really important things that I want to share in today's video with you. And as you can tell by the title of this video, we are going to be talking about LinkedIn. Now, if you're anything like me, I know that LinkedIn can be a little intimidating, might make you cringe a little bit, but I assure you, especially as we are moving into a new year and a new season, whether you are someone trying to break into tech or level up in your current tech career, you're gonna wanna listen and stay to the end of this video. In a previous video, I did share about the fact that I had gained a new job and that I'm working at a new company, but what I didn't share was a story about how I got that job. This time last year, I had implemented all of the things I'm going to show you in today's video to update my LinkedIn profile so that it stood out against others. And within a month or two, I was contacted by a recruiter for my current job. And at that time, I wasn't even looking for a job. I know that if it's possible for me, that it is 100% possible for you to be able to attract the career opportunities that you want using LinkedIn. So I'm gonna show you exactly what I did. And I also have a time sensitive opportunity for you if you're looking to add more experience to your profile as well. All right, let's get into it. Now, before we dig into how to update your profile, I wanted to say that LinkedIn should be one, if not the most important tool in your tool belt for helping you to advance in your career. Obviously, you wanna have the skills, you wanna be working at those, but in terms of using tools to help you have more visibility for recruiters and companies, and also to be able to network very effectively, LinkedIn should be the number one place that you go. So we are going to start off with updating the header section of our profile. It should have all of the pertinent information that you want someone to know about you right there before they even scroll into other sections in your profile. Let's start off with the header banner. Now you can put anything here, but I have found that the best use of that space is to create a custom banner using some type of software like Canva where you can put all of the pertinent information that you want about yourself right there. So in the one that I've created for myself, I have the cityscape of where I'm from, a location sticker. I also have a little short one-liner about what I do effectively, what I'm good at, my at name, and a call to action to get people to check me out on other platforms. Since I'm more active on other platforms outside of LinkedIn, I find that having that call to action lets people know where they can find more of me. Next, of course, you want a very clean and clear professional headshot as your profile picture. I do think that it's important to have some kind of profile picture. So even if you aren't getting some type of professional headshot done, you can still take something nice in whatever your setup is using your phone or having a friend or someone take that for you. Also in your header section, the title that you can input in there, you should aim to use specific keywords that are linked to not only what you are doing, but also maybe other things that you're good at doing or things that you are looking to do. This is a searchable section on LinkedIn, meaning that if someone inputs the specific keywords that are in that title, you could come up in search and that increases your visibility. So you wanna make sure that you're using industry terms for what you are doing and what types of jobs you're looking for, what types of jobs that you're doing. In my title, I have my actual official title for work, which is brand technical influencer. And then I also say that I'm a tech content creator and software engineer because those are things that I do and that I find that I want to be known for. So I have those things in my title so that anytime someone searches those specific terms, I will come up and search and I think this is linked to a part of how I got the current job that I'm in. And you might also want to consider turning on the feature that says you are open to work around your profile picture. This is something that you can actually go into settings and 
change who is able to see that and who isn't. So if you don't want people from your current job knowing that you are open to work or open to interviewing for new companies, there is a feature that allows you to specify it's only for recruiters or people like that. So make sure you go into the settings and update that appropriately for you. But I think it's great to, to have it there just so that people who are actively looking to hire and using LinkedIn as a tool to do that, know that you're someone that they can reach out to and that will be responsive to what they have to offer. Next, let's talk about the experience section. Now, this is obviously one of the most important sections on your profile, and this is where you're able to really demonstrate the value that you have been able to add to previous companies or in previous work that you've had. So my first tip when filling out your experience is to try to keep each bullet point very brief and short. Try to keep it at one line as much as you possibly can. The second tip that I have is to focus on the outcomes of what you did versus just the things that you did day to day or the duties that you have. I also think it's really good to include numbers in these types of bullet points as much as you can because numbers really stick when you are reading through someone's experience. Numbers are something that stand out. Also, keeping in mind that this is a searchable section, you should try to use as many key targeted words that are around the experience, technologies, and methodologies that you used in each role or job or work that you did. So instead of saying that you were a software engineer that worked on specific features, maybe mention the types of technology. Were you working in React or Angular? If you're a designer, maybe saying specifically what tools you use. Are you Figma or do you use Adobe? You should name those things because it also helps you to come up and search when people are looking for those specific technologies and skill sets. Speaking of adding experience to your profile, I wanted to quickly thank the sponsor of today's video, which is Careerist. Careerist is an online learning platform that provides people with different education, work experience, and background find a well-paying job and master their skills in IT. You can choose from basic courses, which don't require any experience at all, or more advanced courses, which would require about six months of experience to start learning. The training will cover everything you need to know from applying to jobs, creating your CV, and even negotiating salary. With a guaranteed to find placement, most graduates find a job within one to four months after they've graduated. So if this sounds like something for you, if you're interested, I've left a link in the description of this video for you to check it out, learn more about careers, and see if it's right for you. And if you decide to go for it, using the link in the description will give you an additional pretty significant percentage off for a limited time. So definitely check it out. Don't wait to go for it if you feel like it's right for you. Once you've had your experience filled in, you should then start filling out your about section. Now, I have a formula for filling out my about section so that I can cover all of my bases. So in the first two to three sentences, usually about 300 characters is the amount of space that people can read before they have to click the view more button, you should put what is essentially your elevator pitch. This should cover who you are, where you're located, the current job that you're in, as well as the key things that you are really good at or really passionate about. Remember, the about section, just like the previous sections, are ones that are searchable. So after you filled out your elevator pitch, the next section should expand upon the things that you're really good at and passionate about. So what are some key jobs or tasks or roles that you've been in that you really excelled at? You should highlight those there. You should also highlight any types of roles that you're really passionate about. There's no right or wrong way to go about this. You really wanna just focus on the things that are true to what you're interested in and what you're really good at. After you've touched on the skill sets and passions, then I would also go into a brief section about what you're looking forward to. What types of opportunities do you wanna see for yourself in the future? What types of roles are you working up towards? 
I think having a section like this in your about is something that really demonstrates that you have direction and focus in your career, which can really benefit you as you are talking to people like recruiters and hiring managers. The next section we're gonna look at is the featured section. If you have any accomplishments that you've made in the past, whether they be awards that you've won, features in articles or blog posts, anything, whether it's local or international or online, this is a section that you can use to highlight those accomplishments. Really just anything that you're proud of and essentially you just add the link to that thing and you can add a little blurb about it but i think this is a great section to really highlight what you're passionate in and give yourself the opportunity to highlight accomplishments that you've had in your career which can really help you to stand out once all of those key elements of your profile have been filled out you also want to look into adding endorsements to your profile so this will be you adding certain skill sets that you want to highlight about yourself on your profile and then you should ask people in your network that can speak to your skills to endorse you there write a short blurb about how they have witnessed you exemplify that skill set once you've done that i would suggest adding a custom link for your profile to make it easy for people to find you in the future like when you're at networking events or when you're online just something that's short and easy to remember and now i want to talk about post Posting on LinkedIn is actually a great way to increase the visibility of your profile. If you're someone that is trying to break into the industry or grow in the current career that you're in, this is a great way to demonstrate on a regular basis the things that you're passionate in, the things that you're working on, how you're working on yourself and your career, and kind of giving you a leg up on your journey and your story, being able to share it from a positive light. I would recommend finding a regular frequency for you to post. So I would suggest something like once a week or a couple of times a week if you can manage that. I would say set a timer for about 15 to 20 minutes and just write what you can, add a few hashtags, add some type of media like a photo or video and then post it. Going along with posting, you should also be regularly engaging on LinkedIn on other people's posts. So spending as little as 10 minutes every day going through your feed liking and commenting on posts that are related to your interests related to your professional life in any way shape or form and also engaging with people who are in your network or in similar professional fields that you would like to be in or that you're adjacent to is a really great way to increase the visibility of your profile and increase the amount of eyes that come to your profile, which can ultimately increase the amount of people are visiting and looking into you for potential open positions. So in general, keep in mind that LinkedIn is such an important tool to use if you are looking to break into the tech industry or take your career to the next level. Please remember that every single section in your LinkedIn profile can be brought up via search. So make sure you're packing lots of keywords. It might feel a little repetitive as you're adding similar information in each section. That's okay because you never know what section is going to show up on search first for certain individuals. Remember to also stay active once you have updated your profile. And I'm sure that if it was possible for me, that it is totally possible for you to land your dream job or attract your next big position via LinkedIn. If you learned anything from this video, make sure you like and subscribe so that you don't miss the next video. Make sure you check out the link in the description so that you can look into careers and take advantage of that awesome discount. Love you guys, rooting for you, and can't wait to see you in the next one.